Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R330 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on network cards. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R330 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, let's hop into it. Uh, this video is going to be specifically focused on NIC or network cards. Uh, so we're going to compare the R330 to the rest of the series, and we're going to show you the options that you have. And at the very end, we're going to put up a list uh, that you can go through of just some of the acceptable cards that will work for the 330, and I'm sure there's plenty more. Um, and if you find some that aren't on there that you want to uh, drop a comment down for the rest of the users out there, that would be great. Uh, I'm sure people would love to know all the different options. So um, as a whole, uh, the R330, one of the differences compared to say like the 630 and 730 or 730 XD, uh, which are very popular with the 13th gen, um, there is a built-in NIC uh, on the motherboard itself, all right? And it's two ports and it takes RJ45, which is ethernet, and it's one gigabit, okay? Um, if you want to get 10 gigabit, which is you know definitely possible, you will need to put in a PCIe card and use one of the uh, PCIe slots in order to get 10, uh, 10, 10, 10 gigabit um, and there's two different options here that you can use. Uh, we have the um, 10 gigabit SFP plus um, and we have the uh, 10 gigabit uh, RJ45 um, and what we'll do is actually install one of these for you right now to show you how easy it is to install them um, and that's what you would need to do if you want to get something a little bit higher uh, than the built in uh, one gigabit in the back. So let's go ahead and hop in and install it. All right, so here are the two different options that we were highlighting. Now, technically, if you use a high profile, you can also get the four port kind, um, but this is the low profile ones that are uh, pretty common and um, normally what people are using. But again, uh, there's different options. So there is a high profile PCIe slot in the back. So I did want to note that. So, all right, now we're going to go ahead and install this right now. So uh, it's real simple. You're just going to pop the latch like any server you've been in before. All right, so we're going to remove our riser here. So we're just going to pull this up and lift this straight up. And when you lift this up, uh, this bracket will be, uh, become loose. So you just need to be careful it doesn't fall and, and damage something here. Um, and you're going to need to line this up a couple of different ways up here. This plastic piece uh, is sometimes easy to forget that you need to line the card up there. And then you need to line the leads up right there. And then the top of the uh, bracket needs to get lined up here. Um, so it's really just about making sure everything is positioned uh, properly. It's not that it's hard to do. Uh, you just need to make sure everything's lined up. And then once you have all four connections in the right place, you're just simply going to click it into place. And you'll see that the leads are uh, fully in there. And this is fully inserted. So now we're just literally going to reinstall the riser. So line everything up. I like to line uh, the backs up here first just to make sure everything is in. And then we're just going to come straight down. There's a, a notch right there as well. And we're just going to push this in. And it's nice and flush and we have installed our NIC card. So it was really uh, just that simple. I do recommend hanging on to these. You never know when you can use them for uh, systems in the future that are missing them. Um, and if you made it this far, hey, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're interested in a custom built R330 or any other server for that matter, we custom build both new and used Dell, HPE, Super Micro, uh, uh, custom build ASRocks and Gigabytes. And we'd love the opportunity to earn your business. Please email us at sales at cloudengine.com. That's sales at cloudengine.com. Take care, guys.